Ryan Fredericks has joined AFC Bournemouth on a free transfer from West Ham United as his contract has run down with the Hammers and has joined the Cherries AFC Bournemouth on a brilliant transfer. And this is a transfer that will probably be going under the radar for most footballing fans unless you're a Bournemouth Cherries fan. And this, no matter what way you look at it, is a quality signing from AFC Bournemouth. And this signing could keep getting better and better if he can manage to stay fit. But there's so many different reasons why I believe AFC Bournemouth have signed Ryan Fredericks. And I have to dip into all those reasons why, guys. Because I'm very excited by this transfer as I am a huge Premier League fan. And I'm going to dive into it, guys. Because there's so many exciting reasons. And one of them is his versatility in the back line. Ryan Fredericks is so exciting in the back line as of course we all know he's a right back but it's extremely versatile and can play left back as well and basically does exactly the same job at left back as he does at right back never puts a foot lo- foot really wrong and has played absolutely quality there that is is when he is fit because this year for west ham united he did manage to split his appearances basically 50 to 50 right down the middle at left back and at right back never really putting a foot too far wrong having a 6.5 rating to a 6.7 rating usually around that range or having the odd 7 rating performance. Very average player, very good player, does the job and gets it done, and gets it done the right way. He is a quality defender, and the fact that he is able to play on both flanks is a huge key contributor for any newly promoted side, especially AFC Bournemouth. When you look at Bournemouth, they don't have really true quality at their fullbacks, in my opinion. At right back, you are looking at a Adam Smith and Jack Stacey combination. And Jack Stacey is obviously quality, but of course, I do believe Ryan Fredericks does start over Jack Stacey. But that also leaves you one left back. And that's absolutely huge because Jack's, uh, Ryan Fredericks can, of course, fill in at left back and fill in at right back, which is a huge asset to a team who, of course, is not going to go out there and spend a lot of money. But getting a guy who is able to play two positions and two positions very well, not just a stopgap, but a guy who can easily go in there and start week by week and have extremely good average performances in the Premier League is a huge quality to have. And Ryan Fredericks brings that in abundance. He's a 29-year-old right back who comes from West West Ham and has been absolutely quality in his footballing career. And for me, this is just a very exciting deal as he brings so much to this side. And... Another aspect I have to look at this is his Premier League experience. And of course, everyone's going to say his previous experiences in the Premier League weren't unbelievable. It wasn't fantastic, but you don't have to be fantastic. You don't have to be perfect in the Premier League to bring experience to his side. Because for his side, his uh, time at West Ham, he's managed 15 appearances and then 27, which has been really his only true season where he's really stayed fit, and then also having... Uh, 14 and 7. So really, the problem with Ryan Fredericks is not really a massive problem. It's his problem is he needs to stay healthy. And that is a huge factor, of course, as we all know, is injuries and being able to keep yourself fit is almost one of the best attributes you can have. And unfortunately for Ryan Fredericks, he can't manage to stay fit, which is very unfortunate. But when you can get Ryan Fredericks fit and firing for a good string of games and performances... It is absolutely massive because he is a quality footballer. And what you're getting from Ryan Ryan Fredericks is absolutely massive. Like I said, just the versatility is huge. But that Premier League experience, which is another point I have to dive into now, is massive, especially for a newly promoted side like AFC Bournemouth. Because as a Premier League fan that I've seen throughout the years, is you get teams like Fulham and other teams like that, they go to leagues abroad or they don't go and get a Premier League experience players. They go and they get these players coming up. Like Fulham are doing right now. They're going out and getting Joao Paulinha. They've been rumored to Strakosha. And they haven't really got much Premier League experience. Yes, some of their players have already been there. Mitrovic and everyone there. But I just believe if you get guys like Ryan Fredericks. If you get guys who are in their late 20s. Who have been in the Premier League for some time. And know what it's like. Know the culture. And are able to carry themselves. And give you a winning mentality. The other thing you're getting with Ryan Fredericks as well with experience is a winning mentality. What he's had at West Ham is always a winning experience, a winning culture. And of course, as we saw, he's had European football. They've been doing extremely well, finishing the top half, finishing in Europa League football. And bringing that to a side like AFC Bournemouth, for me, is huge. Because 
you're not just bringing experience into the side like a Premier League player who's been there, who's done that. You're also bringing a winning mentality. So when the team's not mentally in it, you can boost them. You can give them a bit of a boost. I'm not sure how Ryan Fredrickson's in the locker room, of course, but I believe he is going to be a huge asset to them, not just on the pitch, but off the pitch, because you will give them a huge boost, not giving them that experience, giving them that calmness of that mentality, that huge level head, I think is going to be a massive factor. Of course, he's been with West Ham for about five seasons already. Like I said, has had some massive injury trouble. If they can manage to keep him fit, his versatility is going to be a huge factor for AFC Bournemouth. But another reason I think AFC Bournemouth got out there is Scott Parker. Of course, he's been a teammate of Scott Parker's in the past as he has played with Fulham, where Scott Parker, of course, did play in the past. And Another thing you're getting with like of Ryan Fredericks is his knowledge of the English game. He's been around there. He's played it. He's been in League One. He's been in the Championship. He's been in the Premier League. And of course, having such a strong relationship with the manager is huge. As he has played with Scott Parker on many occasions, having played together at Tottenham and of course at Fulham, it is also huge to have familiarity with the manager, to know what the manager wants, and just to have a good bond course he could be potched we don't know but this is just going to be a very exciting combination because for newly promoted teams you don't usually see them go out there and splash the cash yes Fulham are the exception to the rule as Fulham usually go out there and spend a bit of cash as we saw with that one summer bringing basically in a new 11 but that doesn't happen with every team as AFC Bournemouth don't usually spend and without having Eddie Howe to play beautiful football, which they used to, and they didn't really have the team, and only promoted sides don't usually do, Ryan Fredericks is the perfect budget signing. Signing him on a free, of course, you still have to pay the agent fees, you still have to pay the wages, but it's still a free transfer. I don't care what anyone says, it's a free transfer. And Ryan Fredericks is a great free transfer for any lower Premier League side or newly promoted side, in my opinion, because he's given you the experience, he's given you the versatility. He's giving you the winning mentality as well. Being with a side like West Ham, he's been around winners like Declan Rice, uh, Mikhail Antonio, and all these big winners. Of course, Kurt Zuma as well, who's been a quality winner for Chelsea and West Ham. But he's been around the big team, and he's been around it. He's versatile, experienced. Like I said, guys, this is a huge transfer. It's going to be very much underlooked. A guy like Ryan Fredericks is not a big name. He's not going to hit the headlines like a maybe... Like uh, Nick Pope will, or like a Rafinha, or Darwin Nunez. Ryan Fredericks won't hit those kinds of headlights, of course. He's not that big of a name. He's a 29-year-old right back who's had injury troubles in the Premier League. But he's still an experienced, well-oiled right back in the Premier League, who I think AFC Bournemouth are going to absolutely love if he can manage to stay healthy, which is also a very huge thing. But I also do believe he's going to be a huge factor behind the scenes. Guys, there's so many different different reasons why AFC Bournemouth have signed Ryan Fredericks, and I've said them all here in my video, guys, and I hope you guys believe in this signing because I think it will work if he can manage to stay healthy. Like I said, the versatility, the experience, and the manager familiarity is absolutely huge here guys fc bournemouth has signed ryan fredericks on a brilliant free transfer from west ham united and this is a perfect deal let me know what you guys think down below about in the comments who's going to be starting will it be a jack stacy or will it be ryan fredericks do you guys think this is a big risk taking an injury prone player like ryan fredericks let me know what you guys think down below in the comments make sure to hit that like button and drop a sub for more premier league football and content and i'll see you guys for the next one peace